problem of our pharmaceutical supply chain and its safety and efficiency. Many of you have read about cargo thefts or possibly listened to our prior webinars and blogs and so forth about the rising number of cargo thefts. But even beyond the problem of theft, there's a growing problem with counterfeited pharmaceuticals even in our legitimate supply chain. And this is true around the world. The Center for Medicine and the Public Interest has projected that worldwide counterfeit drug sales are growing by at least 13% annually, and this is more than double than the estimate for overall pharmaceutical revenue growth. So the number of counterfeits in our supply chain is growing faster than overall sales. Many people around the world have mentioned this. This morning as I was reading my news zines, I saw an article about a, a group in Nigeria that has proposed to the government that you should be put to death if you're caught selling counterfeit drugs in the country. Because in countries like Africa and others, the number of counterfeits is much higher. And the impact on the population is very concerning because of the price of the pharmaceuticals and the difficulty of getting it into people's hands. Very concerning that wrong drugs, drugs with the wrong active pharmaceuticals, or improper compounds, in fact, even poisonous compounds, are included. So this is a big problem. As we look around, what can we do about it? Many people have considered waiting for the serialization regulations to take place, but others are saying it's not that big a problem. Let's allow reimportation, which is a large concern because if you import drugs from other countries, then your ability to correctly identify packaging might be weakened. So GS1 just recently published an article on inference, and once again, we begin to see that protecting our supply chain and protecting our populace is tied to a multi-prong approach. We have got to label cases, if not items. We've got to mark things with tamper-evident markings, either tape or labels that physically close the case or a unique marking that's easily identified. There's now a growing movement to put covert markings on packages that can only be detected with a specialized reader. We have to do that. But because of the problem of theft and diversion and reimportation, we can't totally say that just getting rid of counterfeits is enough. We have to know that this product has been handled by trained professionals in a legitimate supply chain, or we could be picking up a product that could injure us. So Advair is an example. This is an asthma inhalant or additional inhalant that you can use. It's in a discus format. A truckload of this was stolen a year ago, and no one had heard anything about any of the effect that impacted lots. But now those lots are showing up on shelves in retail pharmacies in the U.S., and if you use that inhaler when you're having a breathing problem and it has not been properly stored and maintained over this last year of who knows where it is, you could be injured. At minimum, your asthma would not be helped. Your breathing could get worse. Possibly you would need to go to the emergency room. So very concerning could happen to any of us. And how do we protect against that? Well, we have to have collaboration. We have to have integration. Our supply chain has got to be connected, and we need to be able to have a record of who sold what to who so that if we have a problem with a product on a shelf, we have an ability to trace it back to find who first introduced it into our legitimate supply chain and begin to tackle this. So whichever way you come at this problem, cargo theft, counterfeits, diversion, you end up at the same place that patient safety requires an integrated, collaborative supply chain of certified and authenticated professionals with package level marking that securely identifies this case, this item, so that if one shows up that's wrong, it's easy to find out that this is counterfeit or this product 
was reinserted into the legitimate supply chain, and we know that it's no longer safe because we are tracking every product that's stolen or diverted. And that's the only way. So we know it's going to be expensive. We know that it's coming in 2015. Let's start talking about what we can do today. And I think if you look back over the X-Wave publications and thinking over the last few months, you're going to find that that's replicated with GS1 and many other industry leaders that you can start today with serializing your supply chain and protecting your supply chain with greater collaboration with your partners.